tell I'm sick. <laughs> yeah. I'm sick, there. Yeah. What do you think you're doing? I'm trying to get your attention. I'm sorry about the bell, but I didn't know where my baseball bat was at. I'm afraid you're sick, and you're supposed to be upstairs resting. I already called the doctor's office. Is he coming? Well, I didn't actually talk to the doctor, but I talked to his nurse, and she said she'd give him the message. That's the way it always is. You call the doctor, you get an answer service. But you call the mortician, they're always sitting there by the phone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look, Fred, why don't you just go on back upstairs? Then did the garage call about the truck? I ain't heard a word yet. Oh. Hey, you still trying to catch that rat? Yeah, he's a slippery little devil. Ah. Oh. <laughs> uh, look, look, Fred, uh, why don't you forget about going upstairs? Just, just lay down here on the couch, because, uh, the doctor be here soon. Yeah. Just in time for the autopsy. <laughs> Are you feeling bad again? I better take your temperature. I don't need no temperature. I know what it is. 72 degrees and foggy along the coast. <laughs> I'll take that. Fred, I'm gonna take your temperature. Either open your mouth or turn over. <laughs> you wouldn't dare. Hold that under your tongue. You feeling okay? Well, I'm feeling really good, but no. Are you warming up? I'm not warm up. Hey, buddy, you think you could eat just a little something? How can I eat when I can't even talk? Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see that thing. Oh, man, I'm telling you, you got some temperature here. I'm a little worried about you. Me too. First I get hot, then I get cold, then I get hot again. Reminds me of my first date. <laughs> There's a final notice on this electric bill here. Well, then, why'd you pay it? You a partner? You got 20%. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. When there's a bill come due, I got 20%. You know, it just occurred to me, I ain't got a legal right to nothing. I mean, my, my name's not on the door, and I ain't got nothing in writing. Well, you got my word. You a partner. Would I cheat you? <laughs> Well, you wouldn't cheat me intentionally. All right, then. Now, look, Fred, I don't mean to be insensitive or, or unfeeling, but, man, you could croak. <laughs> I got no proof. OK, that's what you want, proof? You ain't mad. No, I ain't mad. Why should I be mad? How do you spell white rhino? <laughs> you don't have to do it right this minute. Well, here it is, right this minute. I sold Cal Petty 20% of my business for a measly $2,000. If I die, I leave him his share of the business and a one-way ticket to Iran. Now you satisfied, your blood-sucking vulture? Waiting around for me to die. Fred, it ain't like that at all. I mean, I ain't waiting around for you to die. Then why are you circling the couch? <laughs> I know how Howard Hughes felt. Only difference between me and him his fingernails were longer than mine. <laughs> Fred, you're sicker than I thought you were. You better get on back upstairs. Listen, you don't push me around. Look, Fred, just get up there. Don't do that. That's a lethal weapon. I mean, I can have you arrested for assault and blubbery. <laughs> get on up those stairs. I know. Telephone! <laughs> Come on in, Doc. Hey, look, Doc. The patient is upstairs, but watch out because he's in a biting mood today. Thanks, Cal. Yeah. Oh, hello. Yeah. Here's Cal. Oh, yeah. Uh, how much is it going to cost to fix a truck? 
What do you mean, am I sitting down? <laughs> well, Mr. Sanford, how are we feeling today? We sick. <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, it's probably just a touch of the flu. I wouldn't worry about it. Of course, you wouldn't worry about it. You ain't got it. <laughs> well, let's just see what's going on down there, huh? Now, open up real wide. Ah. Wider. Ah. Wider. Ah. Uh, 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 wider. Wait a minute, Doc. My jaw ain't on no hinge. Listen, are you looking in? I'm gonna jump in. Hey, you seem to have a little redness in your throat. And you seem to have a little badness in your breath. <laughs> Would you mind undoing your top buttons, please? Play that. <laughs> <Whew. laughs> that thing is cold. Who was your last patient, a polar bear? Please, Mr. Sanford. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Wait a minute, Doc. I knew how to breathe before you got here. <laughs> it looks like you have a viral infection. But of course, it's impossible to know for sure what you have. Well, I'll tell you what I have for sure. I got my eyes ache, my head ache, my hair aches. I got tired blood. I got itchy and flaking of the scalp and skin. I'm dizzy and fuzzy and queasy and sneezy. And you stand there looking dopey. <laughs> Well, I don't know. If a church is gonna be that much, I better talk to my partner. Yeah, I'll get back to you. Yeah, adios. Hey, Doc, ask for you. Well, he's got a virus. I'll give you some medication for him. You don't look so good yourself. Oh, I just, uh, I got off the phone with my mechanic. You know, Fred's old truck is so bad, they want to shoot it. <laughs> Pretty bad, huh? Yeah. Well, you know, the body's falling apart, and it's all worn out. <laughs> Cal, in my experience, once the body goes, it's the beginning of the end. I just don't know what to do. Cal, sometimes you've got to be ruthless. You want my advice? Well, you're the doctor. Get rid of the old wreck. <laughs> Poor Fred, I don't know how I can do that to him. Do it, Cal. I guess you're right. We should put Fred out of his misery. Well, that's good, because I don't want him suffering. If you can get him to take a couple of those, he should be able to rest in peace. Well, he'll take a couple, because I need some peace myself. Good luck, Cal. Yeah, thanks, Doc. <laughs> trying to get rid of me. What should I do? Hey, Fred! The doctor's gone. You want anything? I want to live. <laughs> Pills. He said it relieve your suffering. I don't think I need them. <laughs> Fred, you gotta take these pills. I want to. Fred, you gotta take them. Yeah, I like you. I like you too. But I like you a lot better after you take these pills. 
Darlene, I really like you a lot. I've always liked you. I like you a whole lot. For why are you dressed up? I was, I was going down to the market to get a quart of milk and a gun. But I think you're getting delirious. You better take these pills. I don't want to. Come on, Phil. You know what's good for you? Take these pills. If I knew what was good for me, I'd take a hike. <laughs> Now, you want your lunch? Yeah, please go get my lunch. Okay. <laughs> I don't believe this. Took the cheese and left the trap. I mean, that's one smart mouth. Hey, Arnie. Hey, yeah, it's uh, Big Cal over at Sanford's. Hey, listen, buddy, uh, our truck's in the shop, and uh, I need some rat poison. I wonder if you could send some over. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well, well uh, so I'll just sprinkle a little over his food, and that'll kill him? <laughs> well, how much will it take? Huh. Oh, so just a pinch will kill a horse? <laughs> oh, that's good. Cause that little sucker's getting on my nerves and I don't want him dead. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot. Have a nice day. <laughs> oh, Fred, I'll get you lunch. Uh, no hurry, no hurry. <laughs> Fred? Uh, yes. Where you going? Uh, nowhere, killer. I mean, Kala. I mean, Kala. <laughs> Well, you delirious. You better sit down over here on the couch and have your lunch. <laughs> sit right there. There you go. Yeah, those, those are nice wreaths. I mean, roses. <laughs> nice touch. <laughs> Door. I get it. <laughs> Nobody out there. Must have been my imagination. Well, that sandwich all gone. <laughs> you ate that old sandwich already? Yeah, it went down so smooth, I thought it was an eel sandwich. Baloney. No, eel. <laughs> well, drink your milk. No, I don't, I don't particularly care about milk. They say it's good for you, but if it's all that good, why do cows give it away? Well, you got to drink your milk. Hey, cow, hey, Uncle. Oh, Cliff, I'm so glad you came to save me. I mean, shave me. Yeah, I forgot my book. Say, hey, look, how you feeling now? I'm grateful. Yeah, well, look, I gotta run. Uh... Are you all right, Uncle? You okay, Brad? Oh, fine, everything loving. Okay, well, I gotta go. I got somebody outside waiting for me. Well, bring, it, bring him in. I, I need a witness. I mean, she's coming. Well, I don't think I should do that. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Invite him in. It'd be a pleasure for me to meet him. It's a her. I don't care who it is. Bring him in here. OK. Uh, you can come in. <laughs> Esther! <laughs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> this house is still full of evil. <laughs> Here. Praise the Lord. I'm here for a religious convention. Hallelujah. Well, come on, Mom. We better go. No, stay. I wouldn't be caught dead in here. That's exactly how I feel. I knew you wouldn't want me here, so I got a room at a hotel. That's not gonna let my favorite relative stay at a hotel. Lord have mercy. This fool is sick for real. Don't worry, I'll take care of him. Just go sit on the couch. What the fuck? I ain't sitting on no couch. First thing I hear you say how ugly I am. Would I say that to you? Yes. <laughs> and then you say, I seen better faces on a can of dog food. <laughs> and then you would say, when I was born, I was so ugly the doctor slapped me across the face. <laughs> I 
don't say that to you. You're beautiful. What, what, what a face, what a figure. I know that one. Two more legs and I look like Trigger. <laughs> Then you're a gorgeous creature. Now he calling me a creature. <laughs> Come on, son, let's get out of this hellhole. <laughs> I would. I mean, it's okay with me. You got my blessings. We could poison him. No. Let's smother him with a pillow while he's sleeping. Perfect. Then dig a hole in the backyard and bury him. It's gonna be okay because I got a little yard work to do. Give me the police's emergency. <laughs> hello, operator. It's the police. Oh, hello, police. Listen, listen. I will report a murder. Mine. Yeah. The killer's out of the yard now, digging a hole. Red Key 7, 9114 South Central. Hurry. Because if you don't hurry, I'm going to have the lumpiest yard in this neighborhood. I can you? Well, I don't have to take that from you. <laughs> so you don't talk to me that way. Nobody talks to me that way. You forget that. Goodbye. What's that all about? I've seen phone calls. <laughs> I didn't hear the phone ring. Uh, I called her. <laughs> Fred, you're acting like you've been smoking wacky tobacco. <laughs> I drink your milk. You drink it. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? Don't you come near me. Fred, you ain't acting like yourself. I'm not. Who, who will I'm acting like? I'll go find him. Now look, what's the matter with you? Police, police. open up. Police? Hey, Fred, now it's Fred and Hoppy, open up. It's the police, so I wonder what they want. Uh, shall we check? <laughs> Help, save me. Help, save me. All right, all right, what's going on around here? Murder, that's what it's murder. He's trying to kill me. Murder? All right, freeze. <laughs> Calm down before you shoot yourself in the foot again. You said you weren't going to mention that to anybody. Oh, Fred, what kind of joke is this? Guy's no murderer. You, what are you talking about? You put poison in that milk and try to get me to drink it. Poison? You put poison in that milk? What do you got to say for yourself, Petty? What do I got to say? Don't drink that. It's poison. You'll die. <laughs> Must have taken a while to get through his rotunda. <laughs> There's something wrong here. I'll say. Hoppy, I don't think we need to hang around here. Nobody's gonna die. <laughs> that is a perceptive evaluation, yeah, Officer put Smith. Put that gun away, please. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about it. Don't even keep it loaded anymore. <laughs> That was, that was just a warning. It was a warning. Yeah, okay. Fred, Cal, we'll see you. Uh, early, Daddy, early. That's later, baby. Oh, later, baby, right. <laughs> uh, I don't understand it. I heard you and the doc saying that you're gonna poison my food because I was an old wreck. Fred, the poison was for the mouse and the wreck was the truck. Oh, anybody can make a mistake. Fred, I'm ashamed of you. You've been thinking that I could do something like that to you. I should have known better. I mean, I know I owe you an apology, so I apologize. Because, I, I mean, I was sick and delirious. I didn't know what I was saying. I mean, please forgive me, gal. Well, I like you like a son. More, more like twins. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Anybody can make a mistake. <laughs> help, please, please, help! <laughs> it ain't that funny. Wait till I tell Cliff. <laughs> you wouldn't do that. Oh, yeah. And Evelyn. <laughs> please don't tell Evelyn. And not to mention Aunt Esther. You tell her? Yes, I will. <laughs> Listen, where'd you put that rat poison? What? Where's that rat poison? What for? I'm going to make you an industrial strength milkshake. <laughs>